All right, guys. So I got got you guys strapped onto my chest. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll work. Good morning everyone. So today is roof day. I'm not going to do a how to flat roof video because frankly this is the first one I've ever done. And although I think I can do it right, I do not want to teach somebody else how to do it right and not be right. So this is just a little fun video. Uh, hopefully a lot of time lapse. And a quick intro here. Got all my stuff lined up. The roofing's outside. You'll see that now and got my um, roll roof ad adhesive just for some some uh, the corners and the flashing. Got my flashing right here. And then I got my window flashing six inch, which I'm gonna use as flashing under the metal flashing just for extra protection. Um, I got this, I don't know what the heck this is. The guy sold it to me at the roll roof place. Uh, supposed to be super good adhesive in between the sheets when they come together. The spray foam is not for the roof. I don't know why it's up there, but yeah, this is pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, so you can kind of see what I'm doing going through the time lapse, but let's get started. I got the rubber flashing on, now I need to put the metal flashing. And of course I realized I have seven nails, seven ro roofing nails left. So I gotta go get more. Um, not what I wanted to do, but can't do much without those nails. Got the goods so we can continue. So basically got the flashing on, the rubber, and then the metal. And now I just need to roll out the sheets of the, um, whatever the heck it's called, SAV, some Elastoflex SV. They make it complicated, but um, peeling stick. It's a sticker I'm put on the roof. So just gotta roll that out, let it relax, um, take its shape, peel it, stick it down. Oh, actually I have to prime the uh, flashing first with some cement, but uh, that's really easy. So yeah, let me show you what we got going on. So there we have it. Next step. Okay, so it turns out the asphalt adhesive I bought to put on the flashing before the first layer of this roll roofing. Um, it won't work. So I'm gonna have to go all the way across town and get some, uh, what I need is asphalt primer, not adhesive. Yeah, so this is kind of how construction projects go. I think you have everything and then you gotta run seven errands and then the sun goes down and it takes another day. But we're getting it. It's all rolled out. Uh, relaxing so when I stick it on it's not gonna want to do anything weird so second errand for today I'll be back okay so back from running an errand to get 121 asphalt spray primer 
So let's apply that and then start rolling these sheets. Okay, so the first layer of the roof is getting pretty close to being done. I can't do the last strip yet because I need to take out the original flashing. I really should have done that first, but um, the weather here is not really cooperating, so I wanted to take advantage of the 60 degree day to uh, put down the first layer. So, speaking of weather, um, it's gonna get down to 40 tonight, and they say the roll, the roofing can be put on at 40 degrees if temperatures are rising. So I think it will be okay, but just for safety, I got this crazy rig set up. You'll probably hear it, it's so loud. So I have a propane tank hooked up to this heater facing the ceiling. So it's warming the bottom of the roof decking. I don't know why I'm trying to yell in there. Anyway, so it's warming the bottom of the roof decking, so it'll the roof will cure much better um, because that that adhesive it was sticking, but if I had the heat gun on it, it would stick so much better. So even 20 degrees warmer um, on that roof decking will just help a ton. So I'm just gonna let this run, maybe get up to 90, 95 in that room uh, back there, just to let it cure a little bit more, and then I'll do some more roller. Uh, 80 pound roller on the roof deck to smash down the roofing a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, it's been a long day. I'm gonna go home because tomorrow, hopefully the top layer of the roof will be going on. Actually, this will be spray foamed, so this will be all insulated. And this room, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully a lot, will be ready for sheetrock. Um, wall insulation and then sheetrock later this week. I don't think I'll get to that, but it'll be ready. So yeah, see you guys in the morning. All right, today's another day and the roof didn't get completely finished, but it is really close. I am just having problems with that flashing detail um, where it goes up to the wall. So that will have to be left for after Thanksgiving because tomorrow is gonna be cold and not ideal conditions to put down the rest of that roofing. I just have one more sheet of the base and one more cap sheet to put on. So that shouldn't be too bad once the flashing detail is done. I didn't get to video any of the cap sheet going on and it's pitch black now. So I will have to get footage tomorrow of that. So I hope the B-roll of the roof kind of made up for me not filming, putting it down. Uh, probably not, because um, it is actually really cool how this stuff goes down. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed all that B-roll and, and the kind of, not really how to put it down, but just some um, real world experience of seeing somebody put it down, because sometimes that's just all you need. If 
you're the one doing the research on this to see if you want to do this to your shed or your patio roof or something like that. Sometimes you just need to watch somebody else do it. <laughs> That's what I do all the time anyway. So yeah, I really like this Polyglass product. It is fantastic. It's, I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's a very good high quality product. The roof I put down, it has rained on it a couple times, snowed, and there's no signs of leaking. Um, I, I can go out there when it's freezing cold and try and peel it up in the spots where it's most complicated, like where the seams are, and it is not coming up. It's, it's really good. The one thing I would recommend doing a project like this, let me see if I have one. Yeah, it's right here. Let me get it. One of these guys, so. This brand is Wagner. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. It's a little dusty. Um, heat gun. So this isn't just like a normal heat gun. I mean, this thing goes up to, oh, I think 1300 degrees or something like that. And I got this wide blade tip. You can see it's covered in tar, but that's because I, I used it. So I would just, uh, when I was putting down the seams, I would just, um, put down the whole big sheet, peel back just like a, a couple inches of the seam, and then stick this in there. And then as I'm pulling this back, I would roller behind it where I was going, and it, this would melt it. And the instructions say, if you see smoke coming off of it, it's too hot, but you should see a, just a glimmer of smoke. And so I got it to that temperature, which I think for my application was about a thousand degrees, um, 1050 maybe, somewhere in there and it worked perfectly. Just roller it behind it, and by the time you get one roll done, where you started, it is not going anywhere. It is permanently down there, so um, don't mess up. Yeah, other than that, guys, I am really happy I did this roof. I got quotes to do it professionally, and you know, they were pretty reasonable, but I ended up saving like $1,700, $1,800 doing it myself, and that was worth it, because it really only took not even a week to do the roof. Totally worth it for me. Not worth it if I had, you know, 20 rentals and the roof was leaking in one of them. No, I just pay somebody, but. Yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this type of roofing or anything, just comment and I can't guarantee I'll know what the answer is, but I'll sure help um, or try and figure it out for you. So yeah, stay tuned for that next video about spray foam. And then the one after that, I think might be tile. So yeah.